between the USA and the UK, the two most sophisticated advanced civilizations. There are 27 million persons addicted to drugs. There are 89 million people addicted to alcohol. There are 106 million persons addicted to cigarette smoking. 21 million of those die every year from diseases related to their addiction to cigarette smoking. 24 million women prostitute themselves legally with licenses. Eight murders or homicides are committed every 19 minutes and two rapes are committed every seven minutes. And there are three robberies every 59 seconds. There are 257,000 children that are legally or illegally aborted. That is 257,000 children are killed in the womb by license. 21 million children are born every year out of wedlock who do not know their mothers and fathers or who do not know whom they are fathered by. 2.8 million suicides every year of human beings who find no reason to live. 275,000 persons are locked up in their prison industrial complexes. They can have people locked up for 20 years, 30 years or for life and have them to work for 53 cents an hour. So it makes sense to build prisons and it makes sense to give people life in prison. These statistics are shocking. They are depressing and they are evident themselves that such societies do not qualify to be the models or the champions for the source of bringing peace to the world. With these kinds of social problems inside of their own boundaries, inside of their own governments, in their own institutions, how can they bring peace to the world? It doesn't make sense. Secondly, the Quran and only the Quran has provided the world with the most powerful economic system and a very clear insistence, insistence upon intellectual brotherhood, a guide to social ethics, regulations to preserve the morality of the society, a prohibition against alcohol, drugs, fornication, adultery, and a very strict and harsh punishment for robbery, drug trafficking, rape, murder, indecency, sodomy, and every kind of public and sexual immorality. You will find that 95% of the Muslims do not drink alcohol, do not take drugs. 95% of the Muslims do not commit fornication and adultery. And it is very rare to find a Muslim woman committing herself to prostitution. And the number of illegitimate children in the Muslim world is negligible. Why? Because the family is still sacred. And why is it among the Muslims in Australia or America? In America there are 8 million Muslims. 286 million people and 8 million Muslims. It is very rare in America to find a Muslim addicted to drugs. And when they are, they are just subject to the society. They are criminals, but it is rare, not a normality. And hardly ever do you find a Muslim addicted to alcohol. So why is it the statistic that among the 8 million Muslims in America, it's very rare that a Muslim woman in America will abort her child. 
It's very rare in America that a Muslim child is born and doesn't know its parent, its father. It's very rare in America that fornication and adultery among the, the families, it's very rare. And sodomy and homosexuality, there's not even 1% among the Muslims. Why among the Muslims it doesn't happen? And why among the non-Muslims it is happening? Why is it among every society in the modern world today where Muslims live, we find a different set of statistics? It is because of the effect of the Quran and the behavior of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I say that the modern world today would compliment itself, would do itself a favor, would be wise, would be prudent if they were to consider the Quran, if they were to consider the behavior, if they were to consider the morals and the values of Islam. Because if they did, they would find, they would be able to resolve some of their major diseases.